Filled it up again. Don't know how it happened. Let's go get rid of it. Don't worry about that. That's for a different video. Uh, we did okay. Um, $33 for 265 pounds of prepared steel and $44 for 520 pounds of tin shred. So, our price is going down. A lot of y'all have been telling me the steel prices have been going down. Um, my scrapyard seems to keep things pretty stabilized, but, uh, well, we better just go get more of it, hadn't we? Later, buddy. Thanks again. Wow, that's some high quality junk. We're right back where we came from. I don't even know what a lot of stuff is, but uh, I'll show you. And we're back. So that was another 70 bucks in some uh, quick steel drop-offs. And there's a, quite a few good things in here. I don't think I'm gonna share all the processing this time. I'm just gonna pull it out and deal with it myself later on. Uh, but I will show you everything that's in here, more or less. Have a look. So I'm gonna save a couple pieces like these, for example. These bits complete a shelf that I've been saving up pieces for so uh, that'll be nice not sure where I'm gonna put it but it's good to have and over there we've got a bunch of banding both metal and nylon and a bunch of crimping stuff for it so that's not gonna get scrapped I'm gonna try and sell that before scrapping it and someone very kindly donated this inch and a half piece of copper pipe that's some nice weight gonna add that to the collection then we got another one of those lab ovens I'm probably just gonna scrap that a few stirrers with motors and such and a whole bunch of different pieces of stainless steel yeah it looks pretty good actually a lot of weight Loaded. Got a small collection of pallet strapping kit and got that listed. Hopefully that will sell on its own so I don't have to scrap it because scrap is way less money than it's worth as a product. And then all of these items which are a pretty brilliant looking collection of stainless steel and copper containing components. Each of those kind of represents a um, an, an evening of when I want to come out and hide in the garage. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make it a big rush. Well, maybe it will, but regardless, I'm gonna do that on my own, which means we need to find something to do to make this more of a full-on episode of adventure. Got any ideas?
Hello. Oh. doesn't exactly look loaded with treasure. I mean, depending on what you're looking for. Ghost stories of Alberta. Calculus. In your Christian life work and what to do when it doesn't. That is a swimsuit. A coffee maker. What about a vacadoo? I don't see any. I see boob lights. Oh! Got it. Sure. Slim pickings so far. <sighs> Here we are. Should be something in there. Yeah. Yeah. There's something in here. Oh, look. This is like some Team Canada stuff. Canadiana. It's all polyester, but like, huh. We should definitely donate that. That seems pretty good. And some kind of gross looking life jackets, they're fine. A little bit of steel. Oof. Is that metal? No, it isn't. <laughs> mm. But that is... Okay, this is a bit heavy, so I'm gonna try and not hit the truck. <laughs> Almost hit the truck. Cute. And this. Oh, this is actually a bike rack. Yo, it's the pants for that, it's a whole snowsuit. Why would somebody toss that? I bet it was in a lost and found. It's a shoe. It's a DC shoe. All right, I'm bored. Hey, what? You gonna fold this up so it's smaller? I suppose we can take this too. And why not? Whoa. Mountain warehouse, large, it's completely polyester. It still looks pretty good. Yeah. Ah, great work. Put that there. Don't know what this is. Don't really care. Another word that rhymes with those is chair. Nailed it. Not a snowsuit. Um, I don't know if it has to be in a bag or something. It's cool. Thanks. All right. What's next? Oh, my hair's gonna be a mess. Maybe. Nah. That's a bunch of trash. 
Hello. It just counts as steel, but uh, doesn't take any special effort. It's smaller. In you good thing. Let's go. Yo, what? Too good. That can't be real. Need to need to talk to somebody about that. It's clearly a collection, right? Can't just heave it all in. Unless I get permission. Is that a lead pipe? No. <sighs> How do I talk to somebody about it? Because that's amazing. Is there a... a number? It doesn't look like a donation, does it? It looks like someone's special stash. I'll see if we can get a hold of somebody around the front, but there's a good chance we gotta just leave that where it is. That, on the other hand... All bent up, rusty, and covered in bird poop. <sighs> that looks like junk for us. Okay, so this... Oh, there's no weight at all. This thing is weightless! But it fits all right. And then what have we here? Bunch of toys and such. That piece of metal looks like it belongs to that. Um, I'm not too sure about these. This is probably... a maybe. It's pretty jacked up. <sighs> but I would rather ask. It's in the junk pile. Hmm. All right. Those are junk. Uh, I don't know how they feel about the the window because the window is going to be most of the weight there. Eh. Eh. Yeet. No aluminum today, other than that. I just don't know about that. I'm not good. Put those... What do you do? Little bit more.
also weighs basically nothing, but hey, at this point, we're doing a public service. Hold up, I recognize those shapes. Hell yeah. Blessings. <laughs> Neat. Hey. That'll do. Unfortunately, a very broken TV. What do you do? Not much. Uh, this one seems to be the tricky part. How do we get that in? This looks like the case to your GoPro. <laughs> it does. <laughs> All right, I know where this goes. <laughs> Beautiful. That one barely counts. All right, give me that. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we could still fit more in there, but I'd say that's not bad. Not bad. That's a pretty good looking heap to me. Threw in a couple other pieces from the house and now it's time to cash it out. I don't think this is, you know, that much weight. It's all very thin light stuff, but, well, we're not gonna keep it. Hello, huh, a bunch of pellets. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Ah. Realistically, should have hopped right in there. Are those aluminium? Oh, heck yeah. It's gonna be a good one too. Get off the stick. Pretty sure those are usually aluminium. Sweet, 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 sweet. I don't really see anything other than wood. A couple like little tiny straps of aluminum. You there, into the truck. You as well. Will you fit? Not really, but we'll make it fit. It doesn't want to. Too bad, not asking. Beauty. What about this one? Uh, uh, straight wood. Simplify that. I think this is technically stainless steel. I was like, no, wait, I'm not, I don't wanna, I don't wanna give it any thought. Extruded aluminum, a little bit of steel. Hey. 
All right, this has potential. What a nice shiny dumpster. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's definitely loaded with potential. Um, look, I've already got a full truck, and it's a question of how hard I'm willing to work for it. Mostly plastic window frames. I guess we'll give it a go. this up. Nailed it. I've got no battery. We're going to see how a time lapse works. Alright, unload this. Uh, lost battery. It happens. We'll talk later. Oh, that sun. We're back. What a brilliant day. We got uh, 50 bucks at the scrapyard. That was it. And uh, $10 of it was actually uh, all of that aluminum that I almost didn't grab. It looked like a tiny little bit, but the further, the more I looked, the, uh, the more appeared. And uh, yeah, it worked out great. Um, I'm not too worried about the what that turned into because as you saw we came home with a whole bunch of goodies that are gonna take a bit of effort uh, but I think those will be worth it I'll figure those out uh, oh and we also have these extras there's a good bit of wire in there a bag of bottles those lights that are gonna be aluminum and a little bit of copper and some uh, extruded aluminum honestly I think today was a pretty great day and it's always a better day when you're here so thanks for keeping us company. You leave it better than you found it. I'll see you on the next one. Keep doing the thing.